UAE-sized hole opens up in Antarctica. Well, here's something you don't see every day. A nation-sized body of water known as a polynia has opened up in Antarctica. Scientists say this is the second year in a row the massive hole has appeared. At 30,000 square miles in size, it is half the size of Florida, around the same size as the UAE and three times as big as Hawaii. Warming waters from changes in the environment are said to play a part in the formation of such holes, as well as weather factors. Thing is, we wouldn't even know it was there if we didn't have satellites. Thanks, science! Fun fact, Antarctica means opposite to Arctic. South Pole, North Pole. Mega Iceberg Breaks Up with Antarctica This is the winter wonderland known as Antarctica, and it just lost a whole lot of volume. This week, an iceberg broke apart from the Pine Island Glacier in Antarctica. Loss of ice from the glacier contributes to a 1 millimeter rise in the world's oceans every eight years. The part that broke apart is said to be 4.5 times the size of New York's Manhattan Island. And the word is, glaciers are a much cooler place to live than Manhattan. Huge trillion-ton Antarctic iceberg now adrift at sea. A mega iceberg that had broken off from Antarctica is now drifting out to sea. Oh, great. A massive iceberg around the size of Delaware that had broken off from Antarctica is now floating out into the Weddell Sea. Recent satellite photos show the A68 iceberg appearing to move away from the Larsen Sea ice shelf. It's over 2,200 square miles, weighs about a trillion tons, and has a volume twice that of Lake Erie. Experts say the iceberg will break up into smaller pieces and float northeast as it makes its way out into the open waters of the Southern Ocean. Scientists are concerned the smaller pieces could then drift into shipping lanes. Pieces too small to track by satellite could pose major risks to passing ships. Some researchers have said the calving of the iceberg was a normal event and not caused by global warming. More worrying news from Antarctica. NASA reports that an iceberg about the size of Delaware split off from Antarctica's Larsen Sea ice shelf between July 10th and July 12th. Scientists warn that the breakoff could trigger new ice cracks and cause even more icebergs to separate from the shelf. Ice shelves are the floating parts of glaciers that act as a support mechanism. In a stable glacier ice shelf system, the glacier's downhill movement is offset by the buoyant force of the water at the ice shelf front. The system is destabilized when warmer temperatures melt both the surface and underside of the ice shelves, and this eventually leads to calving. However, collapsed ice shelves do not directly contribute to sea level rise as they float. Once the ice shelves are calved, the buoyant force that previously offset glacier flow is gone, and the glacier can slide into the ocean to rapidly affect sea levels. Experts say the remaining 90% of the Larsen ice shelf is held in place by the Bodden ice rise to the north of the rift and Gipps ice rise to the south. Therefore, the ice shelf is unlikely to collapse in the near term.